Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Animal Foodies with Wendy Hearts Counseling. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about our thoughts and how they have such a huge impact in our everyday life. It really does break my heart when people that I work with are not even aware of this concept. So we know from well, I know this only because I went to school for it, that cognitive behavioral therapy, um, short acronym is CBT, is actually based on this concept, but I wouldn't know this un until I studied it, that thoughts create emotions and emotions create our behavior and our actions. And our thoughts create our emotions, which is energy in motion. And the energy in motion that is around us is what takes part in the law of attraction, which is in effect every single second of every single day, much like the law of gravity, right? We don't think about the law of gravity. We're just centered on planet earth due to that law. Same with the law of attraction. It brings in experiences to us based on the energy that's in motion around us. That is how the resonant universe works. That is how this quantum energy field based universe uh, works. This is science. It's fact. It's proven. And now that we know this, or some of us know it, I I want to spread the word about it and remind everyone that you are the creator of your own life. I am so thankful that I was able to be taught this and be able to know that I'm in control because no longer am I having thoughts such as, why is this happening to me? I, I am quick to reframe the thought, why is this happening for me? Because I also now know that I am in control of my thoughts. We have about 70,000 thoughts per day. That's just an average because some people can have a hundred uh, and 100,000 thoughts a day. Some people can have as little as 40,000 thoughts a day, depending on how much meditating you do, how much you've trained your mind to be quiet. So it all depends. But on average, about 70,000 thoughts, and that's a lot. But we are not the ones that create the thoughts. We are the ones that listen to our thoughts. Our subconscious mind, yes, creates our thoughts based on our experiences and our lenses of perception, which are our core beliefs that we have acquired from when we were children. But the subconscious mind is not who we are. It's a result of our experiences. Who we are is that quietness, that stillness. Your soul is the one that uh, observes everything, that takes that takes in all of this happening, is the one that registers and records all of this. So we have choice in what we want to hold on to and what we don't. And this is how the power of thought will shape our life. So when I hear people have thoughts such, such as, uh, I hate my life, I not, nothing ever works out my way, um, my kids hate me, uh, school is so hard, I will never make it, no one likes me, my teacher is this, this, and this towards me. Like when you sit with those predominant thoughts all day, every day, you're just going to create more of that experience because the way that you're going to feel having those thoughts be predominant is not going to be happy, joyful, content because our thoughts create our emotions. And if we have thoughts like that, then our emotions are going and feelings are going to be more of sadness, fear, despair, disconnect, sadness. Did I already say that? Um, dissatisfaction, uncomfortableness. And this is a clear compass to know when the thoughts that you're choosing to hold on to are not serving you. It's by the way that you feel. So you can reframe each thought that you have. So if you are going through school and you're taking a particular course and you're not having a particularly good experience with your teacher, you can just say your gratitude about the things that you do like about this. I am so thankful that I 
I am able to pass this course. I am so thankful that my teacher is able to see that I'm doing the best that I can. I am so thankful to even have the opportunity to go to school and take this course. Whatever you can grasp on to be grateful for. If you pass something, be grateful that you passed. If you didn't pass an exam, be grateful that you had the opportunity to write it and write it over again because there are always opportunities for makeup exams. Whatever it is, don't get despair and focus on the one thing that's not happening for you because there's a million other things that are happening in 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 a different in a different way. So if you focus your thoughts and your energy onto that, then you're going to have a different experience in life. If you focus on things such as, say that the course that you're taking is math and you focus on things such as, I acknowledge that math is really hard, but I'm getting through it. I acknowledge the fact that this course is really challenging and I gave myself the opportunity to see if I can do it and maybe this course is not for me. And you can say that about anything, about a relationship, about a job. So if you're in a job and you're unhappy and you think that your um, boss is challenging, difficult, you're feeling disrespected, these are all signs that it's not, it might actually, this job might actually not be for you. And this is the way that the universe is trying to get you to, to push you out of it and but maybe you have thoughts of fear. Who else is going to hire me? Where am I going to go? But they really need me. I feel so settled here. How am I going to find another job? Am I going to find another job? Am I going to be able to make the same money? When you start to have thoughts and fears like that, then that's when your life will keep reflecting those thoughts and those fears. It's normal to have those types of thoughts, but they if they are not predominant, what you focus on and what you believe, then your experience of life is not going to be like that. So what do your thoughts say about these types of things? What do they say about your relationship? Do they say, oh, I need my person to be this, this, and this in order for me to be happy? That is not true. You don't need anyone to be X, Y, and Z in order for you to be happy. You need to be X, Y, and Z for you to be happy. And that person can go about their business and do what they need to do. And it's your choice to be with them or not. You don't need anyone to be a certain type of way in order for you to be happy. This is true fact. This is so much power in that. It's so empowering to know that we don't need anyone to be any certain type of way in order for us to be happy. So CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, really highlights the fact that our thoughts create our emotions. From emotions, we get feelings. And if the feelings that are being produced are challenging, then we know that our thoughts are not the ones that our soul wants us to follow and have. You are disconnected from who you are meant to be. You're meant to experience life in its fullest, in its joy and its beauty. And yes, challenges are part of life. And the point of living is to be able to be with those challenges in a positive way. Come to it now. This is what we have learned and know to be true. And once we understand that, then we can change our entire life around. And this is why children can dream and think of the impossible because this is how we are born. We are born limitless. We are born with unlimited potential to dream and imagine of uh, anything that we want to experience. Like kids have a great imaginative play. They create scenarios and they have dreams and they have all types of, uh, what do you call it? Dreams and visions and hopes. And then as life happens around them and they hear adults say, oh, you can never be that. Oh, you'll never become that way, the way that you're dressing or the way that you're behaving. No one's going to want to be around you or you're a bad boy, you're a bad girl, you're this, you're that. It's slowly with society's limiting beliefs and um, like parameters that they put onto us that we start to lose that confidence that our imagination can become reality because that is what manifestation is, is you having a thought and having it come into fruition because that is how powerful we are. 
this is how powerful we are with our thoughts and our emotions. And now that we know that we are a quantum based universe, which means the law of attraction is always at play, just like the law of gravity, 9.81 meters per second, every single second of the day, you don't have to think about it. Same with the law of attraction. So you're, you're, the experiences that you bring into you, they're never forced. They are, it's a resonant universe. They just come in because your thoughts create your emotions. Emotions are energy emotion. That's the energy in motion around you. That's your aura, your energetic field. And it brings in the experiences that you have. So that's why choosing your thoughts is so, 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 so important. What do your thoughts say about you? You have the power to change your thoughts. And this is what cognitive behavioral therapy is. It literally is untwisting unhelpful thoughts to create a better experience for you because we know this to be true. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, I would um, love to hear about it. And remember that everything is always happening for you, not to you. And you have the power to create the life that you want each and every single moment and every day that you wake up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.